Psoriatic arthritis is a condition which causes the joints in your body to become inflamed. It generally affects adults, but children can occasionally develop the disease also. It is associated with a skin condition called psoriasis, in which red and white scaly patches, called plaques, develop on the skin. They may be quite extensive or confined to certain places, such as the back of the elbows or the scalp. Psoriasis affects about 1 in 50 people. About 15% of these people will also develop an inflammatory psoriatic arthritis at a later date. Occasionally, the arthritis can develop first. In an inflammatory arthritis like yours, the central problem is inflammation. An inflamed joint is swollen, red and warm to touch. It is also painful. Inflammation is part of the body's natural defences, or immune defences, and in most diseases, inflammation serves a positive purpose. It helps the body to cope with an upset such as an infection. If you cut your hand while gardening, for instance, and it becomes infected with some bugs or bacteria, a red swollen area of inflammation will develop around the wound. As the wound heals, the inflammation dies away. Our immune system protects us from bugs, bacteria and viruses. In simple terms, all cells have a substance on their surface called antigens. And all cells in your body have the same surface antigens. It's as if they're all wearing a name badge with your name on it, so that your body knows that these cells are not invaders from outside. If a cell is found in your body with a different antigen, or name badge, an intruder, like a bacteria or a virus for instance, your immune system will produce antibodies and killer cells to attack it. This attack is called an immune response. During an immune response, your blood delivers lots of antibodies and killer cells to where the bacteria or virus cells have been found. This process is described as an inflammatory response and it causes the area to become warm and swollen. However, when the immune system attacks parts of the body instead of protecting them, it's called an autoimmune reaction, and doctors don't fully understand why this occurs. In an autoimmune reaction, the body thinks that some of its own cells are intruders, because for some reason it doesn't recognize their antigens or name badge, and wrongly attacks them. In certain types of arthritis, including psoriatic arthritis, an autoimmune reaction occurs mainly in the joints, so that they become red and swollen or inflamed. This inflammation is what causes the damage. It can come and go, causing flare-ups, which can persist for a long time. During a flare-up, the autoimmune reaction can affect other parts of the body also, and you may feel generally unwell. Part of the treatment for autoimmune disease can be to take medication which suppresses or blocks your immune system. These are called immunosuppressants. They suppress the autoimmune reaction, which is good because they stop your antibodies attacking your joints. However, they also block your ordinary immune response and you can therefore pick up infections more easily. In psoriatic arthritis, the synovial membrane lining the joint capsule becomes inflamed and the joint becomes swollen. The cartilage is also affected and begins to wear, which results in a painful damaged joint. Inflammation can also occur where tendons or ligaments attach to bones. Psoriatic arthritis can affect most joints, both large and small, but typically cause problems such as pain and stiffness in the fingers and toes. Joints and tendons in the fingers or toes can sometimes become inflamed, particularly at the end joints, and can produce swelling, which looks a little like a sausage, called a dactylitis. Inflammation and tenderness in the ligaments on the soles of your feet and painful heels can make it difficult to move about. About a third of people with psoriatic arthritis also develop spondylitis, which is a stiff and painful back or neck caused by inflammation in the spine. Psoriasis can affect your nails also, causing pitting, discoloration and thickening. Painful red eye 
or a mild anemia can also occur when the disease is active. Everyone's experience of psoriatic arthritis is different. It is therefore impossible to offer specific advice on what you should expect. Most people with this condition will be on long-term treatment to keep the disease under control. At present, the exact cause of psoriatic arthritis is unknown. A particular combination of genes makes some people more likely to develop psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis. Current research suggests that something, perhaps an infection, acts as a trigger in people who are susceptible to this type of arthritis because of their genetic makeup. No specific infection, however, has been found and it may be that a variety of infections, including bacteria that live in patches of psoriasis, can trigger the disease. The link between psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis is probably genetic also, although some people with psoriasis never develop problems in their joints. Interestingly, many people find that when their psoriasis is bad, their arthritis is also bad, and as one improves, so does the other. Both psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis occur more frequently in some families than in others. But although your children will be more likely than the next person to develop psoriatic arthritis, the risk is still low. <laughs>